Hello, everyone. So if we want to create a Power App, one of the advantages is there's a set of templates already created for Power Apps. Let's create a Power App for inventory management using the canned inventory management Power App. And when we go to a template, the first option we have is do we want to use a format for the tablet or a format for the phone? And I'm, for example, going to build one for the phone. So I click the template and it already loads a working Power App pointed to an Excel file for store inventory. And it comes with some different tabs. So for example, there's a first tab where we can search for a certain product. So if we have a product, we can type in a search or we can click a button to view all the products. And what I want to do is edit this Power App by creating a new button. And actually, before I do that, let me open up the app. So here's an example of the Power App. I go into my store inventory, and I have my inventory, and I have all my products. And I can either search for a product by clicking the search. And then once I find the product I want, I can click into the product and see stats about that product. So I can see this is a basic inner tube. Its list price is $55 per unit. My current stock is eight, and the system is telling me that I'm low. My ideal stock is 73. So what I can do is I can set up an order quantity. And I'm gonna say 50, for example, and I'm gonna say a restock. And when I restock, it's gonna place the order. So that's the default app for the Power App for storing inventory. What I want to do is I want to add more functionality to it. The default view is I have the restock button and I have an inventory level and a current stock. And I want to add a new button. And the new button is going to be to block the item. Let's say that I want the user to be able to block the item because maybe the item should be discontinued or something like that. We're going to go ahead and say block item and we're gonna create new actions for it. So to do that from the Power App window, I'm gonna open up the Power App. And this is our main app. We have store inventory. There's an inventory screen. This is a screen where we can see all the products. And then there's a product details screen. And we inserted a new button that blocks the item. And then this button will be set up later to set a flag on the inventory. So it goes back to the system and it will modify our ERP system to block the item. And then normally when we click on the restock button, we can click on this restock button and it will take us to this confirmation screen and let us email that to ourselves or go back to the home screen. We now have another confirmation screen we created that has whether or not the item is blocked for sales. So the first thing I did is I added a button, insert a button, and then you can choose where the button goes. In this case, I've set the button here, and then I can configure the properties for this new button to block the item. And then I basically copied this button. The action of this button is going to do some actions and take us to the confirmation screen. And the blocked item, we're going to have us take us to the second confirmation screen. So we're going to take this first screen, duplicate it, and make a duplicate screen for when we block the item. So now when I run the app, I can go in here, I can have a couple of choices. Oops. I didn't mean to create this button, we'll get rid of it. So now when I use this, I can either block the item or I can restock it. So I'll block it, now it's blocked for sales. So to define the actions, we're going into this block item, we're gonna define actions. And then after defining actions, we're able to set those rules so that it we control what that block item does. So it's fairly easy to create Power Apps using this online view from a template. A template will give us something to start with 
And then we can easily add buttons, add controls, add text. 